Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create an event on your event schedule page of your Wix site. Um, I'm going to show you from the very beginning. So let's start by going to a search engine, Google, Yahoo, whatever you use, Mozilla in my case. So we'll go to Wix.com, W-I-X.com. It'll take you to their home page. You sign in, top right corner and make sure it's set on I'm an existing user you type in your gmail that's associated with it the a to stefano2 at gmail.com type in your password click go you can select remember me um, so you don't have to keep signing in every time um, I don't know if you've been in this or not but here's like your managing contacts page somebody registers for an event it'll also pop up here as well as your email so uh, and this is just the test I did earlier so to actually register or create an event to register we'll go to edit site it'll take a minute to load okay now this is an editing mode on your site um, just to make it easier, go up here and click on preview and event schedule. So this, so you're in preview mode of your website. So when you, once you get to event schedule page, uh, click back to editor. So you're in editing mode. Um, and right here is where you're, where you'll create your event. Um, just run your mouse anywhere on this um, and click or right click if you have a handheld mouse and you'll see this smaller box pop up and this bigger box pop up in the smaller box you want to click app settings and this is where you'll create an event so click add new uh, this basically you enter in the information that you've already received from the client so let's say they booked February 1st from 10 a.m. till noon so and it tells you right here confirmation uh, duration two hours um, don't worry about all day or slots just leave it like it is recurrence only once event name what I suggest is uh, use the last name of whoever's registering so it'll be easy for them to find their event so let's say for example Jessica Johnson registered for this so we'll do Johnson event Subtitle, um, I would suggest putting in the name of the lake. So let's say she registered for Percy Priest Lake. Um, and as you can see, it'll continuously update right here while you're filling this out. So right here you see Johnson event, Percy Priest Lake. Um, and then in the description, basically repeat all the details um, of the registration. So let's say she wants a flyboard session for two hours from 10 a.m. to noon at Percy Priest Lake um, and let's just say I mean just pretty much enter all the information just to confirm everything um, so down here this is where you'll put your price for whatever however much their event costs so just for the sake of example we're just gonna say a dollar and make sure you click the online make sure to select this because that's how they'll pay online and don't click optional just leave that alone limit participation just put one so that way only one person can register for this so other people can't come in and register for her event and it'll continuously save as you're updating it but if not you should just click save it'll be right here um, and then once you're done and everything's filled out and looks right you'll click publish and it says your schedule will be published click publish again your updated scheduler is now published okay so it'll show up on your site like this but there's one more step so what you want to do is go up here and click save to save the page and then click publish and this is going to publish your site and when you do this you get congratulations so that way 
this event is now live on your site. So I could type in Mid South Extreme Water Sports and go to this, and this event will be up there. And um, so let's say that you want to remove an event, somebody cancels on you, whatever the situation. Um, you'll basically go through the same process and get back to right here um, in the editing section of your website um, event schedule section and you'll basically do the same thing click app settings and you'll see right here you have one event view slash edit so if you want to add another one just click add go through the same process if you want to remove it click view edit uh, your event will be right here or whatever event it is just click on it and it'll show you all the details and click remove and it says remove this event remove and it'll be removed but also make sure to click publish and publish again scheduler is now published so it's blank now you've just taken off that event but also remember to save and then publish is that publish the actual website so now when we go to mid-south extreme water sports there won't be anything registered on there so that's how you add an event and take off an event how they can pay online so i hope i hope i've answered all the questions if you have any more questions just email me and let me know